Uh, okay, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ziliang Zhao, and uh, I'm from Gaolin School of Artificial Intelligence, Renmin University of China. Today, I'm very glad to share my study, Generating Multi-Turn Clarification for Web Information Seeking. So what is web search application? Uh, when a user is, issues a query, the query can be faceted or amb ambiguous. Uh, at this time, the clarification system can uh, generate a clarifying question Q and provide several candidate faces. S. For example, the user's query is headaches, and the system can ask, what do you want to know about this medical condition, and provide several facets like the symptom, diagnosis, treatment, and something like that. So uh, the process can be continued until the user's query uh, is specific enough or intent is specific enough. So it's essentially a multi-turn conversation or interaction with the system. So, however, existing studies focus on generating high-quality Q&S in a single-turn setting. So what does, it, what does that mean? Uh, is that given a user query, the system focuses on generating high quality questions or facets. Uh, so nowadays, multi-term clarification has been applied in many scenarios, such as the conversational, conversational search, uh, conversational recommender system, and some closed domain settings. Uh, different from these settings, the web search clarification focuses on generating the candidate facets provided to the user to click. Uh, and select select which her want. So it's a natural question that can we design to make the web search clarification has multi-turn features. Uh, however, existing studies focus on generating the clarification pain based on the uh, usually based on the maximum likelihood language modeling. For example, uh, one can input the uh, query queue and uh, uh, output the question and the facets by applying a sequence to sequence model. So it has some problems. It may deviate from the user's intent, or it may require a lot of turns to find the user's intent. Uh, for example, in this figure, uh, when a user is issues a query, Google Chrome EXE, uh, and uh, her final uh, intent is to download Google Chrome EXE on a 64-bit uh, system. So uh, in web search clarification, it has many turns, uh, it has many uh, paths or roads to achieve its intent. So some some rows are long and some rows are short. So we believe that the multi-turn web search clarification should also satisfy the user's potential intents in as few as possible clarification turns. Uh, so uh, referring to the some existing studies like the conversational recommender system, we also de uh, define a framework component. Uh, uh, composed of three components. Uh, first is the clarification candidate generation. Uh, in this process, uh, when a user inputs the query, we can generate something like the middle of the fi figure. Uh, for example, the user input lost, which is TV series. Uh, so we can generate some information, uh, including the cast, episodes, characters, and something like that. For uh, and another dimension of the facets includes the uh, uh, roles in the TV series, uh, seasons, actors, and something like that. So in the second step, we should select the optimal clarification and deliver to the user. Uh, that's also something in the CRS did. Uh, so what is the optimal? We can use some strategies or rules or models to achieve this goal uh, and deliver to the user. And, our final, uh, and finally, uh, the user uh, the user select one of the facets from the, the provided clarification pane and the document can be retrieved again to deliver to the user. Uh, so in this paper, we propose two uh, simple yet, yet effective methods to achieve our uh, goal of web search clarification for a multi-term manner. Uh, sorry, it's breaking up again. Okay. Uh, so uh, in our first method, Moclary rule is a rule-based method. So as for the clarification candidate generation, uh, we use a bar based model, which is trained on the Mimics dataset, which is a, which is a popular dataset for search clarification for the web. Uh, the training data is composed of uh, many pieces of data. The input is a queue, and uh, we, we also fetch the top 10 documents of the query uh, as an input, and the model output one independent facet. For example, we uh, input the headaches and its documents, and we output the uh, treatment, just one. So uh, in order to obtain many facets candidates, so we, we apply the beam search uh, to select the top 100 facets. Uh, uh, after that, uh, since we just got the in independent facet set, uh, we should cluster them to uh, obtain the, 
this one. Uh, so we build a frequency graph and cluster basis group by the by selecting fully compo uh, connected components from the graph. Uh, in this graph, the nodes are our generated facets, and the edges between these nodes uh, are the frequency uh, co-occurrence frequency in the mimics data set. Uh, and uh, we, asked, uh, we also remove some repeating uh, facets and do the part of speech and filter some low frequency terms to ensure the quality. Uh, the second step is the optimal clarification selection. Uh, in this step, we uh, select the group that maximize the information gain. Uh, this concept is also uh, obtained from the, some CRS studies. Uh, so we need to select all the uh, clarification pane that can mostly uh, improve the uh, information. So, uh, uh, the information gain of a clarification pane uh, is defined as the average of the information gain of each facet in this pane. So, the gain S is also uh, calculated as the uh, information gain as, as the minus of two entropy. It, the first is the H D given Q, and the second is H D given Q and S. So, the H D given Q is all is usually a determined value, and the second one. Uh, in some CRS studies, it also it usually uh, use a function like the upper one. So uh, if we select a facet, it can participate the search result into two parts. Uh, so when the search results have uh, fifty documents, uh, when uh, so it first increase and then go down. So uh, our study is totally different from the CRS because I we think that in some Recommender system, the items to be recommended is limited, has a limited number. number. Uh, but web page has, uh, there are many web pages related to a query. So I think uh, that with the increase of the uh, documents, uh, our gain, our, the HD given Q and S should also increase. So we define as a, a lower part of the function as the HD given Q and S. So after that, we uh, do some document retrieval using the BM25 document. Uh, algorithm, sorry. Uh, that's the process, how to achieve the multi-turn clarification uh, with our proposed uh, more clarity rule. So uh, the, the rule-based method is weak at uh, obtaining some contextual information. Uh, so uh, as we know, the large language model has been succeeded in many information retrieval tasks. Uh, so we also applied a language, large language model-based method to uh, generate multi-dimensional facets and select the optimal one. So uh, in this process, no matter the uh, generation and the selection, we give the large language model with several uh, demonstrations to tell the to tell it uh, how to generate the multi-dimensional facets and which one to select. Uh, so as for the experiment. A uh, clarification form and the data for training uh, facet generation uh, in our experiments are totally based on the MIMICS data set, uh, M-I-M-I-S uh, typo, sorry. Uh, however, uh, it's a big challenge that MIMICS data set cannot evaluate the document retrieval ability, but we deem that the uh, uh, in a multi-turn setting, it's very important to re retrieve documents, so we should evaluate it. Uh, another uh, another data set for such a clarification is the QLAC. Uh, in QLAC data set, uh, a query has a uh, correlate uh, relevant uh, a relevant labeling with the relevant uh, document and the irre irre irrelevant document. Uh, so uh, we fetch all the queries from the QLAC data set and get it get its uh, relevant document and we sample many uh, irrelevant documents for the query. Uh, we use this data for evaluation. And we compare several baseline methods. Uh, so we compare to the original query and we select five uh, single term web search clarification algorithm. For example, we, gener we use BART for generation. We uh, label from the search results. We do some classification. Uh, these studies are popular for web search clarification in a single turn setting. We want to show that our proposed uh, method, considering the multi-turn situation, can improve the uh, single, turn, uh, set, uh, single turn methods. So uh, this also is the uh, first phenomenon of our uh, discovery. So uh, our proposed method, more clarity rule and LLM, uh, exceeds all the baselines in the five metrics 
And another uh, interesting um, phenomenon is that although our method is trained uh, are trained on the mimics dataset, uh, yet uh, they are still effective in Quillac dataset in a zero short setting. Uh, it means that the terms in the mimics dataset is also helpful to help uh, retrieve documents in other uh, uh, clarification datasets. That's uh, the, it, it means that maybe datasets for such clarification can compensate with each other. So we also evaluate the quality of the generated clarification pins uh, using the MIMICS dataset. Uh, the rule and LMM are our original methods and the best means that, uh, you know, that we, we generate multiple dimension of facets for as a candidate and we select the optimal one with the term overlap F1 score to calculate the uh, score here. Uh, the first phenomenon is that our method cannot perform the best in all metrics, especially uh, low in the exact match score. Uh, another phenomenon is that uh, the best, uh, rule best and LLM best shows better for performance, yet uh, these pins are not selected by a um, McLaren rule or LLM. Uh, it means that uh, the the target of the mimics and the QLAC dataset are totally different from each other. Uh, but uh, the terms in the mimics can also help to uh, retrieve documents for the QLAC dataset. That's interesting. So finally, let's make some discussions. Uh, first, um, since our pre paper just proposed two simple yet effective methods, uh, uh, one is rule based, one is based on language uh, language model. Uh, we can have some better facet generation and selection strategies. For example, we can use more materials to generate facets, or we can uh, train a model to select one. Uh, the second is that the transferability between the clarification datasets. Uh, they maybe have a different target, but uh, they can compensate with each other. That's a very interesting phenomenon. Uh, the final point is that beyond these two uh, search clarification datasets, uh, they are both good for such clarification, uh, but I think that the mimics, uh, the intents uh, of the user may be not presented by the terms, uh, uh, such as the mimics dataset, and the response of the system sometimes are not only documents, which is uh, in the QLAC dataset. That's all about our paper. Thank you very much.